What's up, Vikes? I'm Allie, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. The hybrid learning model is new this year and extremely different for students and staff. Let's see what they had to say about the changes. Today we interviewed two seniors and a freshman to get their point of view on hybrid learning. It has its ups and downs, but I mean overall it's not my favorite thing, but I mean what else do we have? <laughs> I'm honestly really mad. I'm really mad I'm a senior during COVID times. It honestly really makes me angry. <laughs> She is not the only one. We recently caught up with a freshman to see how they were doing in their freshman year. My first year of high school is kind of like not as fun as I thought it would be, but I still think it's a cool time. I'm excited. I'm, I really want to see my friends more. I think we are all ready for the point where we get to go back to school and hang out with our friends and enjoy class. Lastly, we caught up with a senior who is also attending Washburn Tech and how he feels on this hard time. It's kind of a pain because I'm hoping that just for this semester this whole COVID thing is going but like next semester I'm hoping that all of this is gone. I just hope that we get through our whole like five days back you know like at school full time. I've hardly ever got to see my friends and we just haven't really hung out a lot, you know? Looks like there's some pretty varied responses. Now onto the rest of announcements. If you're planning on participating in a winter sport and are not currently on the roster for a fall sport, information about winter sports conditioning is now available. See Schoology for all that information. Interact is doing a mass drive through the rest of September. Bring homemade masks to Mr. Collins and store-bought masks to Mrs. Jones. In homecoming news, the vouchers for the game tonight are online now. Make sure to pick them up at lunch or at the end of the school day. Tonight, wear your best red, white, and blue and be at the field at 6.30 for the crowning. The school board recently voted on returning back to school. I have more information on why that's not the best idea. As many of us know by now, the school board has voted for students to go back to all on-site learning. Today, I'm gonna to give you a few reasons why that is not in the best interest of the SHS students and faculty. First things first, we had a couple of polls going out to the students on social media and throughout college and AP government classes on how the SHS student body feels about our school and COVID-19. These are the results. When asked if students felt comfortable coming back full time, the results were split perfectly 50-50. When asked about social distancing, 62% of the students believe that social distancing does not occur throughout the high school. In reference to the hand washing stations and directional arrows, 75% of students say that nobody uses the hand washing stations, and 58% of the students believe it is an inconvenience to follow the directional arrows. Although slight on some of the questions, it has been proven that the majority of students believe that the COVID precautions in place are not useful with only half of the student body. How do you expect that is going to change when we add 500 more students? However, we're not the only school in Kansas that thought about going back to on-site learning. Let's see how that turned out. Chapman High School recently went back to all remote learning after a rise in coronavirus cases throughout their student population. Derby High School had to quarantine the entire freshman football team along with half of the JV and varsity teams after two freshman players tested positive for COVID. These two players alone resulted in 94 other people that they were in close contact with to quarantine and get tested. In Abilene, the high school had gone completely remote for two weeks after four staff members tested positive. The superintendent spoke on this issue stating, we understand how important it is to have our students in school receiving a first rate educational experience, but COVID-19 has struck our teachers and support staff significantly. 
Examples of these outbreaks are happening all throughout high schools in Kansas, proving repeatedly that it is not safe for students to return yet. During a pandemic, nothing is normal and we can't force a normal school environment, no matter how much we want to, because student and staff safety should always come first. By adding nearly 500 more students to the high school at one time, we are drastically increasing our chances of being one of the schools I previously listed. If you have a strong opinion on this topic, please DM the Seaman Viking TV Instagram page. That's all I have for today, Vikes. Have a great weekend.